What am I doing, Bruce? So I've been shooting from where Bruce is at this rock. Chipped a bit off there. Look at that. The high shot went and it's wedged in there. I'm going to leave that to become part of the tree. Geologists will find that in 85 million years. They'll find a bit of fossil wood with a steel ball bearing in there. Hey, that was good. <laughs> I've unclipped Bruce. He could run away chasing deer. He kept getting tangled. Bruce, we shouldn't be doing too much of this. I was kicking his ball load yesterday and uh, he was hobbling a bit later on. Weren't you, Bruce? Stiff and hobbly. Would you like some of these? <laughs> That's a good snack, isn't it? Apple and carrot, good for you. Bruce, do you think we could fit in one of them and live in one of them? Carrera 4S. It's a beast. It's beautiful. Hey, mister. Come on. We're getting Jess tomorrow. Yeah. Right. There's something else in the bushes looking at me. That light there is just, I don't know, 10 yards away or something. And I'm uh, at another part of Canyard Hills Lane. That other thing, I'll do a daytime video, I can see it in the trees. This is bizarre though. I'm going to turn my head torch on. Bruce, wait! Morning. Beautiful but cold day. Right, that thing there, centre screen, is the other, well, the original Spy at Night. It won't focus. But it's up in the trees in thin branches. I think that's a couple of fighter jets in the distance. Doing some tight turns and manoeuvring, playing at dogfighting. Bruce, they want to have a dogfight. It's the little and large show. Bruce is just desperate to go in there. He's seen the molehills. We'll go in from the top end, Bruce. Come on. Hi Jess, who are you sniffing? So I've got Jess clipped to my waist with Bruce's old lead that he frayed a bit. It's frayed a little bit down that end. And then of course the other week he totally ruined his new lead. 
didn't you? Bruce, it's in a hole. Are you revving yourself up there, Jess? Hey? What's Jess sniffing, Bruce? Hey? Rev it up, Jess. <laughs> what, shall we have a picnic here? Jess, do you like apples? Are you having Jess's apple? You're not keen on apple, are you, Jess? Okay, what sort of dog are you? Do you just like meat? Hmm? Meat and biscuits. Bruce doesn't mind though, do you Bruce? You don't mind finishing it off for her. Hmm? Is that spring a bit tight? I'm surprised it's not pulling you up into the tree. <laughs> yeah. Come on Jess, it's the mole patrol. These here. Bro, these here, you haven't looked at these, there's millions of them. Yeah, Jess is bored of looking at molehills. Come on. Look, Jess has gone already. She's gone. Come on. <laughs> What are you after, Bruce? <laughs> what are you sniffing? Jess, come on! <whistles> what? Uh, what? <laughs> You're too big. Oh. Jess, Bruce is having a lie down. Oh no, he's not. Bruce is on the prowl, Jess. What's he looking for, Bruce? Hey, what is it? Are you keeping guard? <laughs> Do? Come on. What is it, Bruce? Are you going to get it? Or are you coming? Come on in. <whistles> Pee like a boy, don't you, Jess? Still frosty in some places. Well, it's mid-afternoon, sun's about to set. <laughs> In three weeks it's the deepest, darkest day. 
and then it'll be nearly spring. Hey, not. Some snowdew Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If it's more than two inches, Jess can't go out. <laughs> what do you do in deep snow, uh, Jess? Does your dad just like let you go in the yard and that's it? <laughs> do you like perching up there, Jessica? Eh? <laughs> What's she doing up there, Wolf? Eh? Eagerly awaiting for a mum. Meanwhile, hi, Bruce. Are you looking at me? He says no. I'm just getting dazzled. Jacket night, in it, Bruce? And I've got my big. Goose down one on. Yeah. It's a nice walk tonight. Very calm. And Bruce is quite calm after five, ten minutes of going mental at first. Had a good day though, haven't you, Bruce? Eh? You took Jess for a walk, didn't you? Good night.